when we're talking about building a place that can enable artists to be part of something bigger, something that can't really be measured, I think we need to be able to provide the artists with the best gear possible so that they can make sure there is nothing coming in between their inspiration and printing that on whether it's tape machine or analog or digital. And I think this in part is what, you know, Neef proposes for ages. It has enabled artists to make sure that I have an idea, I want to record it and I know it's going to sound good. So when we're doing records, uh, we have so many different things that we can record here, right? It's a studio that's made for classical music or pop or rap or rock or funk, you name it. We can do it here with the acoustics, with the gear that we have and the experience also. And there's always something fun going on when it comes to preamps and when it comes to how we actually print it straight, right? And I'll just take the example of the, of the, um, the different Neves that we have here. We've got the 1073, we've got the 1084, and we've also got the 1081. And funnily enough, they all vary in terms of complexity, especially for the EQ part. And it really depends on what we're producing at this specific moment that will define which preamp we're going to be using. So with the 1073s, it's like the straightforward machine. You plug it in there. You don't even necessarily have to activate the EQ. It sounds like it's supposed to sound, right? And if you want to go super fast and do a lightning fast uh, EQ round, you go ahead, you've got four knobs and you make sure that you've got quickly the result that you might need, right? If you want to push it a bit forward, we go with the 1084s that we have here also. We've got a uh, parametric EQ that is actually a bit more precise, especially in the low end. So, you know, usually I would use the 1073 for vocals when it's pretty straightforward. When it gets a bit more complex with guitars, maybe pianos, I would more tend to go with the 1084 because we have a bit more depth into how we can go with the EQs on, on that. And when it gets to a bit more complex uh, sounds like overheads for a drum, for example, my serial overhead pair is the 10, 1081. The 1081 for me is kind of a sure shot because obviously I, I, I don't really believe in the idea of it will get better in the mix. Sure, the mix can make something uh, beautiful, but you can't polish a turd, right? When you take some sound in, it has to feel right. It has to sound right already. So I focus on how the preamps shape the sound. And then with the 1081, we've got even more precision when it comes to the EQ for really fine tuning how the overhead needs to be sounding. But then again, it can work on many different things. And I'm always amazed because I do work with lots of engineers and producer at how differently they use these tools because they are tools for creation and inspiration. <laughs> <laughs>